Hello everyone, welcome to Nitra Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can create data frame in PySpark. So for that, we are going to use Databricks here to create PySpark code. So let's start. So I need to first create notebook. I can give name PySpark program and uh, i have multiple options to choose language like python sql scala R. what i'm going to use python and i have already cluster and i have already cluster created so i'm going to use this one okay so if you see here i have already created this data frame i'm going to use same step by step to show you okay guys so let's start. I'm going to show you two different ways to create data frame. Okay. So first, if I type Spark here and, you know, if I show you what is the use of Spark, so I can put help button and then can show you. Shift, enter. I will put shift and enter. So if you see, this is the session object basically which will help to create the session okay now let's create data frame so spark dot if we type c and after that if i use control and space so it is user friendly it will show you the different options which we can use so in this case i need to use create create data frame because I am going to create data frame okay and if you see now what create data frame do so I can again type help and I can see this again shift and enter so you can see different object in create data frame like data schema type and the verify schema so basically I need to pass the value what data I need to create and what is the schema for that so these all things I can refer here so if you need anything you can just put help button and then you can see the parameter and related things for that okay now let me create data frame so for that I need to pass the data first so now in data uh, what i can do instead of passing here i can create one variable let's say data or i can type dummy data and i can pass this dummy data here okay and now i can create the i can provide the value of this data frame okay so let's say one is the id and uh, name let's say mike and let's say age 30 and uh, gender male and job type manager so you can consider uh, like one of the employee table entry okay now i have prepared a data set here and uh, I have used uh, in the list so if you are aware of python that is fine if you are not aware so you can go through my python for data science series I will provide the link okay so now it is fine and what I can do I can assign this into the variable df1 so this is my rdd if you remember I have mentioned in the previous video if you don't pass so i recommended you to watch that video so instead of df1 i can do df as well now df dot show so using show button it will show the output so see now the result so if you see it is showing the result one mic 30 mail manager this is the first way 
I am showing you another way to create a data frame. So I'm going to use same data, dummy data. Okay, enter. After that, I am going to use RDD variable name and spark dot spark control space context and then dot parallelize okay and i am passing this dummy data after that i can use let's say df1 equals to as you remember i told you i cannot print in this rdd i need to do rdd dot there's one function called to dot df to df rdd basically from here i'm converting this into the data frame and i'm assigning this whole value into the df1 so df1 dot show now let me run this see i can see the data similar to the app so there are different ways you can create data frame okay now let me create the schema for that if you see here you are seeing this one two three four five for instead of any column name so what i can do i can mention a schema here schema equals to let's say one is the id so i can say id and then name age gender and job so this is basically i can say job instead of sorry this is fine manager this is job basically okay and uh, i can pass this schema value here in my rdd1 df if i run this so you can see the column okay similarly i can do above i can use this schema here in the above and here i can pass the schema equals to schema this value okay see i'm able to see the column name now if i need to you know type the schema so what i can do df dot print schema but we show the data type of the schema so if you see in the above statement we haven't defined the schema type it has taken by default so let's say it is a numeric value so it took id if it is a name it took name something like this it has taken but it is taken a string because uh, we have given value in the string okay so it has taken all the value of string now if i need to change the schema so how can i change the scheme so let me show you the two functions or i can say two class struct type and struct field so struct type basically it defines the structure of the table so you can consider it define the what are the columns of the table and struct field it defines the metadata of the table so let's say your column is let's say name and struct field and struct field will define the name should be a string or you know what is the data type of this name and uh, uh, it should be null or not null so this thing struct field will define syntax of struct type is struct 
type and after that under that we will use the strength field so you can consider it is a combination of different strength field okay now let me show you let me create this so you will better understand okay so for that first i need to import one library which is pyspark dot sql dot types and import star so basically this library will import all the data type that's why i have mentioned star here okay now let's take another variable for schema 1 so that i will pass the schema 1 instead of scheme okay and in schema 1 i can start using this class which i have mentioned struct type and under struct type i have to use struct field so struct field okay so my first field is id id and uh, i can pass this id value in the inverted column and i wanted to give data type integer so as soon as i write i and press control space so it is user friendly as i mentioned it will show the data type i think i need to type in the capital letter c i n it is not showing sometime in this uh you know intelligence or what i will say this uh user friendly method does not work so don't worry you can type integer okay and uh, by default it is true true means it can accept null value so i don't need to pass this into the code okay so yeah this is my first column data type so with this id similarly i can do for others so let's say strict field and my next is name so i can pass the value name and after that string type ht Try it is not working here. Uh, whether we have type by spal what is spell types correct here import star. Not sure why it is not working. Okay, no problem. We can write string type. Okay, after that, two is fine. Let's copy this multiple times. So we have five columns, so that's why I have mentioned this in five times. Our third column is age. And we can pass integer type. Okay. And the fourth is gender. So male is fine. And fifth is job. So string is fine. So for both of them, string type is fine. Again remove string quotes from here as well as here because both are integer value okay now we are good now let me pass schema one instead of schema and then let's see how it's work so see it has run and it has put print schema here integer string integer string string as per whatever we have provided it has put so you can use this struct type and struct field 
to define your schema to define the data type as per the business requirement okay so guys i hope this video is clear to all of you thank you everyone